Hey guys, how's it going? Colbert here. And today I'm going to talk about a little something you guys have actually been asking me a lot about, the Battlefield Premium rumor that's going around. Uh, first, let me introduce the video. This is a uh, rush attack on Metro. Uh, I'm playing with actually one sub that I knew of, iRage, as well as a buddy of mine, the Black Sunshine, who is a fellow YouTuber too. He's a really good player. You guys should check him out on YouTube. I'll have a link in, his des in the description for him. Um, it it's an okay game. It just shows uh, there's, there's really one part in the middle that we really could have turned the match around, me and Black, make a run. And it just kind of shows really good teamwork. We weren't voiced up or anything, but we played enough with each other that we kind of knew what each other was doing. So, uh, you know, I wanted to have a nice little gameplay in the background, but I wasn't talking specifically about the gameplay, so I didn't want to use one of my really good ones. So this is what you get, because this is more about the commentary tonight. So rumors dropped, was it Thursday or Friday, about Battlefield Premium and, and a lot of the other things. And a lot of you guys have come to me on Twitter and Facebook whatnot asking me my thoughts. And I, like I've, I've tried to do, I, I don't try to shoot off on the cuff and, and rant and rave. I, I did a little on Twitter, and that's where I let myself you know, vent off. But not really with videos, because I don't want to come across as a lunatic too much. So I try to let it sink in and think about it and, and, and come up with kind of a more educated response. So here's my attempt at that. Let me know if I failed or, or not. Um, I'm not I'm not crazy about this. This kind of pisses me off to be honest with you now Now I do need to say these are just rumors. These are nothing. This is not an official re release by dice But battlefield though, seems to think these are a very credible source They seem to have a better track record right now than, than dice does uh, Dice has called them unsubstantiated rumors and you know, just just seeking for you know headlines They have been prompted by battlefield and others to then deny them and they have not denied them yet So that leads me to, to you know at this moment to believe battlefield though because you know DICE would deny it even if it was false and they would lie to us because they don't care about it, their reputation in our eyes anymore. That's been blatantly obvious. So the fact that they haven't denied it you t tells me there's there's some truth to it. And why not? We all know EA is money hungry. We all know they're hurting right now. So why wouldn't they shake up Battlefield 3 to try and shake some money out of the tree? Um, so I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. You know, as an idea, I have no problem with this. I don't have for pay upgrades, you know, special kits, things like that. I have no problem with that. You know, I've done it before. I did the I did the shortcut kit myself for the co-op weapons, things like that. In principle, I have no problem with that. My problem is with your lackluster, lackluster patch history and overall lack of support. This just does not sit well with me. It, it's it's very annoying. I mean, here we are. Your game is seven months old and it's still in beta, and now you're reaching into my pocket again. Uh, you know, it's just it's a bad message. It's a bad image. I, 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 I'm embarrassed for DICE, I'm embarrassed for Battlefield 3 to be quite honest. You know, there were some guys on Twitter that I know used to play Battlefield a lot and they were looking forward to Battlefield 3. They've since moved on because they're just, they're frustrated. And they posted on Twitter saying, you know, like, I can't believe that DICE does this. The stuff writes itself, it's too funny. And it's very true. It's just, it's unbelievable that they pull this stuff. At the worst times too. Um, th my biggest issue is... We have so many things with this game that are issues, that are problems, that are broken, and this is soaking up man hours from somewhere else. So we're told over and over again how things had to get cut from the development list because they just didn't have time to do it in the development cycle, which is understandable. I get that. You know what that says to me? There's a resource issue, okay? One way or another, there's a resource issue, be it money. We know that's not really an issue anymore. This game has made a ton of money. Uh, it's a man hours issue more than likely, and it's a deadline issue. And you know, I deal with deadline issues. I deal with man hour issues. Everybody does in their real life. They all know how those work. It, it, and but now I, I find out here that instead of people working on features like balancing, polish, fixing glitches, battle recorder, supporting esports, all these things that we want and need that could really make this game go to the next level, instead we're gonna get a goddamn bedazzled knife or a black dog tags. Really? Come on. It's, you know, it's lack of time is a resource problem. It means lack of resources and lack of staff to get it done. So don't tell me that they had a separate team working on this. It doesn't affect, affect the patch team. You, you better believe it does. You know, sure, the guy doing the patch coding didn't get pulled off of that to make a pink frilly knife. No, of course not. But this team that's making all this crap, that salary, that resources, those man hours could have been put into another team. So there could have been one or two guys added to that patch team. They could have taken this team, set it aside, and done something else. You know, hey, maybe this team could have fixed the damn vaulting glitch that's been going on since release. I, I know, it's crazy. Um, you know, it's just, you're using man hours to design and use, to design useless crap instead of features we want and need. You know, it, it's, it's just, it drives me crazy, you know. Instead of a, a you know a, a team that could be put aside fixing things, 
we're decorating knives and we're coming up with gun camo or other stuff and it's just not needed and it's really infuriating as a core battlefield player who's just begging for them to finish this game battlefield is amazing i'm not taking away from that but it's got it's just it's it's such an underachiever <laughs> it's like the kid that you know just doesn't he, he might grow up to be very successful but he could have been more and I, maybe i'm asking too much but i mean the game is almost seven months old and it's still in beta let's be honest and instead of another patch like before the dlc like we we probably should have gotten now we're gonna you, you gotta you gotta reach into my pocket again and you're announced and you're letting this be announced now obviously they didn't announce it but there's memos going around somebody knows about it and it's, it's just crazy you know here's an idea do you want to make money dice take this team of clowns that are dev developing you know frilly little things set them aside or, or you know make a new team obviously with better you know skills and, and design battle recorder you know i know a small percentage of people want it i know not the large masses want this but make it a pay item charge a lot charge 20 or 30 hours for it i buy it i know a lot of people that would and, and not only you get that revenue from the sales you would get all the extra free marketing and, and advertising it's a win-win you know now it's not a resource eater it's a revenue generator it's it's crazy to me it just seems so so simple and i obviously know i'm missing something but i don't know i just i'm not I'm, i won't be buying this i need to hear a lot before i buy a subscription service from dice right now for decorative knives and things like that no way it's not happening you know, and the tricky part is they can't bring anything that actually helps you in the game, otherwise it's going to unbalance things. So it's all going to be frivolous things. It's just not going to be worth it. You know, again, I have no problem with them doing this in theory and, and stuff like that. And the concept works. Add on whatever you want. Let people pay if they want. Pay if they don't. It doesn't bother me. As long as it doesn't affect, you know, your ability in-game. You know, I just, I mean, I really wish that they would get their act together and polish the game finally and start a monthly subscription with real stuff. Monthly maps, monthly guns, monthly camos, whatever whatever you want to throw in there. I'd pay a lot of money for that. I would. I'm crazy. I, I've already put a lot of money into Battlefield 3, and I'm pretty sure millions of people would. Uh, I'm still baffled why this wasn't the original business plan for Battlefield 3, but that's just me. You know, in the end, I'm willing to pay. I, you know, I don't take issue for pay, for pay add-ons. You just got to finish the product I paid for seven months ago before you go reach it into my pocket again. And, and that's the bottom line for me. And it won't happen. I won't be paying for this. Uh, the Close Quarters DLC, I will because I'm getting tangible things for that. And, you know, and because I'm crazy and I play this game entirely too much. But there you go. There's my opinion on it. I hope I didn't rant and rave too much. Obviously, I'm a little upset by this. I'm not liking it. But let me know how you guys feel in the comments. Let me know if I'm, you know, if you're with me or if I'm off target. Please, I'd love to hear all your opinions. So... Thanks again for listening, guys. I do appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe always, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.